46 points. Queensland Country need to win by something like just over 40 points. And the Balmain side, it's a strong one with Alan McMahon captaining the side from fullback. And then Miranda, Filipina, Wiggum and Corowa reads as a fairly um, orthodox centre three-quarter wings there for you with uh, an interesting fullback, Neil Brigginshaw, the cousin of uh, Larry Brigginshaw, who's now based at Newtown. And Ray Kelly, you know, playing at 5'8", he formally partnered Larry as one of the halves with Queensland Country in 1979. Their familiar. captain is Trevor Dunham. Right, uh, Guernsey with the red shorts. And it'll be Wayne Miranda to kick off for Balmain. And one very significant point that we do forget, George Doniger, whether either of these sides happen to make the quarterfinals or not. Yes. They are playing for a total prize money out there of $8,000 tonight. I can tell you one thing, Ray. The uh, Queensland Country boys very, very keen to avenge the defeat of uh, 40 points to five at the hands of North Sydney down at Leichhardt Oval. And we'll give this Balmain side a big game of football here tonight, I can tell you that. Well, I'm looking forward to a good game and there's the first penalty being awarded to the Queenslanders by Eddie Ward and Ray Kelly, it was, who took the kick for touch and finds it 12 metres out from the Balmain 22. Sunday's match was a controversial one for Balmain against South Sydney, as uh, Sydney fans in particular know by now. And uh, they've got a big task out there tonight to win by 26 points. That uh, psychological effect of Sunday's match, Keith Barnes has it... Uh, had much of an effect on them that you can see and you're pretty close to them quite obviously no i don't think so i think the boys are very confident that they can get up tonight certainly it is a, a formidable task but uh, they are there's a lot of capable attacking players in the balmain side and if they are able to uh, swing into their attacking game and give their outside uh, men a few opportunities well they're certainly capable of piling up a good score but it will be a hard task because uh, there is a lot of, abil of ability in this queensland countryside and uh, uh, their coach Barry Muir is pretty confident that they will overcome that uh, debacle against North Sydney earlier in the year. So Ripperie Ward is about to put the uh, scrum of the match down. And another penalty going to the Queenslanders. He's indicating Sir McDonnell with the attempt at first points and he strikes it and strikes it sweetly. So the first points of the match going to Queensland country via the boot of John McDonald. And they leave. Oliphant again. Knight coming fast as David Grant, the man exonerated on Monday night by the judiciary following an incident involving he and uh, Charlie Frith, Oliphant, through Philippina. And it's Wayne Miranda inside the quarterway line. McMahon coming onto the ball. Collower dives, and I think Collower might have got a hand of what he has yes. for a try. It's a try being awarded by referee Eddie Ward to Larry Corowa. And it was very quick thinking by Larry Corowa. Here it is uh, on the head on kick. Who has been playing on the right wing, of course. And uh, uh, top marks to Miranda, too. It was a very delicate little chip, wasn't it? Uh, little grubber kick, and Corowa showed his pace. With this attempt and a fairly good indication of just where on the field it is for Miranda. And he's hooked it. The breeze not doing much with it. And it's just wide. So Balmain three, Queensland Country two. In the bumping, bustling run. Good work by McMahon. Turning it back to Jared Crow. They're 12 metres out from the uprights. Centre field. Oliphant. A dummy to Percy Knight. Pillen. Spears. And they're 10 metres out on the Frank Burke stand side of the ground. Knight. Philip Piner, Pillen, very close to the line, he's in, yes, he's away from what was a very brittle defence in the last instance anyway. He's a good positional player, a top defender, and uh, he's had a good season with Balmain. Percy Knight, of course, was the player there that turned the ball to Filipano. Filipano picked uh, Pillen up very well, he got inside that tackle by the Queensland Country half and uh, was able to go through uh, Brigginshaw. Uh, a good try. One can't be too critical of um, Neil Brigginshaw for missing. Pillen, uh, obviously he's... Whittaker, Miranda with the run round. Oliphant, Percy Knight, Filipina. Short ball to David Grant. And up to the halfway for Wayne Wiggum. Inside goes Kailua. Kailua's turning on the speed. Percy Knight will be picked up. Got the pass away, McMahon. Jackals it in. And Belmain have scored a super try. Oh, yes, indeed. That's a good try by the Tigers. 
Uh, he came on very, very strongly, took a couple of tacklers and uh, flipped up a very, very good pass to Wiggum. And, of course, it, the tray was on from there, from that point. And I counted but, uh, Every player did his job superbly on that occasion. How many, George? Nine. Nine passes, Ray, from uh, from the base of the ruck. And it was a great try. There's no two ways about it. And I was just talking about David Grant before. Stand. Finlay. Dunham and dummy half. That man is Marinan. A change out there, George Doniger. Robbie Gallagher, uh, number 15, playing on the left wing, replacing um, John McDonald, it looks like, Ray. Number three is Byrne, the Queensland Country Centre. Rowan Hancock at uh, dummy half, giving it to Duke. Oliphant, tying him up. Now Lacey, Kelly, and a stabbing kick through for Philippina to turn defence into attack, and then he'll look for a fast man. He's a very hard man to pull down. He picks up Wayne Wiggum, who in turn throws it back and hopes for Percy Knight. But Queensland Country They've got three runners, saving the day with possession. The ball. Uh, David Grant, they're obviously very conscious of him after the early exchanges, and you've noticed on a couple of occasions, no Oliphant has been smart enough to cut out David Grant and pick up... Uh, Bellman out here, right? Another try here. Uh, he's going to make things very, very difficult. George, I don't want to uh, be an alarmist. Hello, there's a... a oh, a nice how-do-you-do over there. A couple of quick right crosses from young Lacey. He's entangled with uh, Oliphant. And I was about to ask George about a fire that's burning somewhere close by Lang Park, but at the moment the biggest fire is at the base of the scrum. You seen oh, David Grant this quarter, George. No, he's uh, slowed down considerably, but as you said, uh, Keith, Oliphant's cutting him out a bit. Goes, no. Here he goes. Oh, David Grant yes. now. This big oh, yes. human tank-like figure getting it away to Miranda, who's no small man either, and he's charging in for another Balmain three-pointer, which probably should have resulted about 60 seconds ago. Miranda scoring the try. Well, the scenes here have become a little Goal. bit... Cool. He's a very small figure there. He's much larger with that shot. He does that. And Balmain lead by 16 points to two on a night that's got... Uh, well, actually, you could just see the flames everything. coming up over the top of the green stand. My golly, you ago. can too, Keith. We might finish up in the towering inferno. See, I hope they don't cancel the game. <laughs> Well, George Doniger did Balmain say to me before the well match, at the moment. he said they'll do anything to stop Balmain getting 26 <laughs> points, and now they've turned on a barbecue. <laughs> 12 to go, right? <laughs> Would you keep the points? I've, I've given up. 12 points to go. Uh, I thought thing. the first pass away from the ruck by Filippano was a good one, too. Percy Knight figures. He's a very clever and talented ball player, this fella. He drew the two, picked up Pillen. Pillen uh, pivoted in the tackle, gave it back to Percy Knight, who was running around him, and... Uh, he was the one, of course, that flicked it to, uh, to Wayne Miranda. Uh, Miranda, a player that uh, met his, uh, also made a name in water polo, and he's a very, very confident handler, and on that occasion, of course, it showed his skills. Oliphant, Corowa, Filipana, a oh, quick yeah. ball away. That's Ron Pill, and he's having a picnic, and that's Wayne Miranda galloping down the right flank, an infield kick. Corowa, look at Corowa's speed. He's overrun it and has been forced in the in-goal area by Gallagher as the siren sounds for half-time. 19 points to two in favour of Balmain. Repeating that Penrith today defeated New South Wales combined country at Dapto Showground. The match at four o'clock went to Penrith 18-9. And uh, Henry Foster was the man of the match for Penrith. Talented uh, young halfback. As McMahon... Plays the ball. It's with Knight. A floating pass out to Miranda. Taking oh, it down to the 22. Corowa now up on the inside. Comes Wayne Wiggum and he's in. That was a beautiful try. Forgetting about the defence. A very keen. It appears to participate in yet another cup final, if possible. They've done it once in 76 from memory. They played and defeated North Sydney. Was it 76, Keith? Yes, it was. But uh, on that occasion, of course, we did see some slipshod defence by the Queensland country players. McMahon, a former Australian test winger, uh, so there wasn't too much chance that they were going to catch him. I think McMahon's had a tremendous impact on this game. Some weeks. <laughs> Rise, Keith. Former Australian winger and also a former Australian beach sprint champion, am that's I right? right? Yes, that's right. 
Does he still travel from the south coast to train and play, uh, Keith? Yes, he does. He's uh, in partnership with his brother in a hotel down there in Wollongong, and uh, it's going very well. So there's more than Mick Cronin travel from, travel from the south coast. Attacking bursts. Knight working blindside, losing it, and lost behind him, says referee Ward, but now knocked on. Good refereeing. I think that would be the only mistake that Percy Knight's made all night. By golly, he's a, he's a, he's a talented footballer, yeah, Keith. He's a very clever ball player, Percy Funnily Knight. enough, the man who the knock-on was eventually against was Ron Pillen, and that, you're quite right, George. The, the first mistakes I think either have made in the match. Finlay taking it down towards the halfway on one of the rare uh, Queensland country breaks. Eight metres onto Balmain side of the halfway. Lacey. Rowan Hancock. Dunaman with the ball. Called Rowan Hancock there. It was Joel Duke. Um, Hancock has been just replaced for the Queensland countryside. That's Tony Dean. And he's on the Balmain 22. Dunaman, Kelly, Marinan, Finlay can't take it. Byrne has it. Byrne is speeding for the corner. McMahon's after him, but it's a try. Scored by the centre three quarter, Tony Byrne, the uh, Bundaberg centre. And Queensland country, though their supporters were starting to lose hope that maybe they would score have uh, been able to crack Balmain. Finlay couldn't take that pass. Byrne scooped up the dregs and then out sprinted McMahon for the corner line, uh, for, the, uh, for the corner. And uh, four minutes from three quarter time, the score line comes back to 25 to five in favor of Balmain with the attempted conversion to come. And here's the try head on. And good play by Marinan here. He was taken in the tackle by Gerard Crow, but he was able to get on Filipano as well and flicked it across, which was taken eventually by Byrne. And uh, Byrne is impressed in various stages of tonight's game. He certainly good, showed good pace there, got away from McMahon. And uh, that thing now has made Balmain's task a little bit more difficult. You were talking about Con Marin and there. Uh, Keith, he came down pretty well unheralded this year in the Queensland Country Trials, but he's, uh, he's played some very good games since then. There he is on, uh, on screen now, Con Marinan. Attempted conversion from Tony Byrne. That's a good My one. gee, that's a good kick from the touchline, but short. you wouldn't believe how short it was. In fact, it was a perfect line, but the breeze, he was kicking into the teeth of it, <laughs> and it was well short as the telecast, knowing that uh, Balmain, uh, the, the big threat to tipping Newtown out of the quarters, was very close to being forward. Night now. Oh, yes. This is Clark. Miranda. Grant, he's gone without it. Colwell can't handle. Grant now in a race for the line. He's it. And referee Eddie Ward on the spot to see all the exchange, and he's given a fair try to David Grant. I suppose they've got a, a healthy amount of supporters here in Brisbane. Yes, they have. We, uh, they're, they're, yes, you're right, uh, Ray. There is a lot of people support Balmain uh, from Brisbane just because uh, Rod Morris and Greg Oliphant are there. Uh -huh. So Percy Knight gives a short ball to Neil Whitaker. Filipana, who's... I, I must say, I don't think I've seen Olsen Filipana as involved as he has been tonight. Good football by the replacement boy, Clark. Back to Filipana, who I'm talking about at this very moment, and he goes in to score a well-deserved try. Really about 19 years of age, and that's uh, him now. He has a good pass back inside to Filipana, who, as you said, well, he's had a very strong game uh, here this evening. I think both uh, he and Wiggum have been benefiting from very good service from Percy Knight and uh, Greg Oliphant. Converted try, taking the scoreline along to Balmain 40, Queensland Country 5, with the final siren, because after we come back in the break, we'll be dealing with the quarter-final draw with uh, Rosemary. Uh, As Wayne Wiggum gallops down, oh. one hand's a pass out to Miranda, and he's in to score. That was a, a colourful try, to say the least. 
43 points to Wayne Mar uh, Wiggum. And then, of course, as you said, that colourful overhead pass. But, gee, it was some very clever lead-up work inside. Well, there's the siren. And just before Wayne Miranda attempts conversion of his own try, George, um, I thank everybody here in Brisbane earlier on uh, in the telecast, cameramen, directors, people at the channel back on, on the mountain, uh, and also the officials here in Brisbane, obviously. But to you, uh, thanks for your help. It's been great working with you again in 1980, and I'll see you back in Sydney quite obviously as we come to the Cup Final as Miranda converts. Thanks, Ray. It's been a pleasure once again. There it is, the 45-5 to -5 scoreline. 45-5 in favour of Balmain, and I'll have the details of the man of the match for you after this break.